what if I told you? You could make a full-blown cinematic movie without a camera, a cast, or a million-dollar budget. Just you, your ideas, and artificial intelligence. From epic battles to emotional storytelling, all created with a few simple prompts. All right, let's get started. First, open up ChatGPT. This is where we'll write the prompt for our cinematic action film. Keep it focused, you want the AI to understand exactly what kind of story you're aiming to create. Now go ahead and enter your prompt. Once that's done, ChatGPT will begin generating your content. Here's what we're looking for in the result, the narration and the visual prompt. The narration is like your voiceover script, it'll be used later when we bring the scenes to life with audio. And the visual prompt will guide the image generation part of the process. It's important that your prompt is detailed enough so the AI gives you something strong to work with, not vague or scattered. The more direction you give, the more cinematic your results will feel. After that, copy everything, narration and visuals, and paste it into a Google Doc. This will make it way easier to organize your scenes, keep track of each part of the story, and edit things as needed. Having everything in one place helps streamline the rest of the creative process. And just like that, your foundation is set. With the script and visuals ready, you're one step closer to building your AI-generated movie from scratch, no film crew required. Now that we have our prompts ready, it's time to turn those words into visuals. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Leonardo AI, a platform specifically designed to create high-quality, AI-generated images. It's fast, intuitive, and capable of producing cinematic-style visuals with just a few lines of text. So go ahead and open up your browser, type in leonardo.ai, and sign up for a free account if you haven't already. Once you're in, you'll unlock a world of creative possibilities. After logging in, Leonardo AI will load up the main dashboard. You might get a pop-up or onboarding message, just click OK to move forward. Now take a look at the top, you'll see that your account has 150 free credits to start with. These credits reset every 24 hours, which means you can come back each day and generate new visuals without running out. It's more than enough to create an entire sequence of scenes for your AI-powered film, and gives you room to test, refine, and explore different styles. Let's bring in the visual prompts we wrote earlier. Open up the Google Doc where we saved everything, and scroll to the first scene's visual description. Now, select the text for that first visual prompt and copy it. Head back to Leonardo AI and paste it into the prompt input box. But before we generate anything, let's make sure our settings are dialed in for the best possible results. First, choose the latest image generation model, which should be Leonardo Phoenix, it produces sharp, cinematic visuals with rich detail. Next, set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. Go ahead and tap Generate, and let the AI do its thing. In a few seconds, you'll see four completely unique images based on the prompt you entered. Take your time looking at each one. Notice the lighting. Every time you generate, Leonardo will create four image variations, giving you multiple options to choose from. All right, time to move on to the second scene. Head back to your doc, find the second visual prompt, and copy that just like we did before. Now paste it into Leonardo AI's prompt box, keeping the same settings we used earlier. Click Generate, and once again, Leonardo creates four options to bring your scene to life. This process gives you flexibility, you're not stuck with one version, and it encourages creative decision-making. Now compare the four new images. Which one feels like it truly matches the scene you had in mind? The setting, the energy, the look, when you find that perfect fit, go ahead and download it. Let's continue that same process. Download the image, then go back to your document. This time, we're grabbing the third scene's visual prompt. Copy it, return to Leonardo AI and paste it into the generator just like before. Now hit generate. You'll get another set of four visuals, and once again, each one offers a slightly different interpretation. If you're not totally happy with the first batch, you don't have to settle. Just click regenerate, and Leonardo will produce four brand new images based on the same prompt. Sometimes that second round gives you something even more aligned with your vision. Once the regenerated images are ready, then download the image that resonates most with your scene. And from here, it's simply a matter of repeating the steps. Go back to your doc, copy the next visual prompt, paste it into Leonardo AI, and generate your next set of images. Now that we've got our scene images, it's time to move into the video generation phase. For that, we'll head over to the Runway ML website, 
another powerful tool that turns static images and narration into full cinematic sequences. Let's continue and sign in using a Google account for quick access. Just click on your Google account and give it a moment to load. The platform may take a few seconds, but once it finishes logging you in, you'll be taken straight to the dashboard. Here we are, this is Runway's main interface. You'll see a clean, simple dashboard with several creative options. What we want to do now is start a new generation session so we can begin building our video. Click on Start a Session and the video generation panel will open up. From here, we'll be uploading the images we created earlier, starting with the first scene. Click on the Upload button, locate the first image you downloaded from Leonardo AI, and select it. This will serve as the visual base for our video clip. Now, let's head back to Google Docs and copy the narration for our first scene, the script we wrote to match this image. Return to Runway, and paste it into the text box where it says, Describe your video, or, Add a prompt. This narration will guide the AI in animating the image with motion and context. As a free user, you get 125 credits, which is more than enough to generate a short cinematic video like the one we're building. Now take a look at the model selection options. Choose Gen 4 Turbo for the most realistic and dynamic results. Before hitting Generate, adjust the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 so your video matches the widescreen format of your images. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click Generate. Now it's working in the background, Runway is using your image and narration to bring your scene to life with animation. Just wait a few moments while it processes. And here it is. Play the video, and you'll see how the still image has been transformed into a short animated scene. Make it full screen to get the full impact, it's surprisingly cinematic for something generated in just minutes. When you're happy with it, hit download to save the clip to your computer. Now let's move on to the second scene. Just like before, head back to Google Docs, copy the narration for scene 2, and paste it into the runway input box. Then upload the second image you previously downloaded, the one that matches this scene's narration. Once both are in place, start generating the video. Wait for the system to render, this part may take a few seconds as it animates the new scene. Take a look at the result, it's not bad. If it doesn't quite capture the tone or look you wanted, you can easily regenerate for a different variation. Once satisfied, download the final version of the second clip. Now let's keep building. Upload the third image, copy the narration for scene 3 from Docs, and paste it in just like we've been doing. From this point on, you can repeat the exact same process for all your remaining scenes. To save time, I'm going to speed up the video to 3x so you can watch the steps unfold quickly, but the process stays the same. Upload image, paste narration, set the model, and generate. Alright, now that all our scenes are animated, it's time to pull everything together and make it flow like a real short film. For that, we're jumping into CapCut, a powerful yet super beginner-friendly video editing tool. Let's start by uploading all the clips we just generated, one by one, right into our project timeline. Once the clips are in, it's important to rearrange them in the exact order of your story. This way, each scene connects smoothly into the next, keeping your audience immersed from start to finish. Take a moment to double-check everything, trim any extra seconds if needed and make sure the visuals and narration line up correctly. Nice and clean editing here makes a huge difference in how polished your final movie will look. Oh, and here, I realized I missed uploading one of the final scene clips. No problem, I just dragged it in and placed it at the end. So make sure you've included every scene before moving forward. Now, let's add some transitions between the scenes to smooth things out and give it that cinematic flow. Click on the Transitions tab in CapCut, you'll see a wide range of styles, from fades and slides to dramatic filmic cuts. Pick the one that matches the tone of your video, subtle ones usually work best to keep it classy. Add the transitions between each clip and preview how they look together. Let's play it back. Looks great. Everything's moving seamlessly from one scene to the next, and your story is now visually coming to life. But we're not done just yet. To really elevate the mood, we need background music. Head to the music section in CapCut, and choose a soundtrack that fits your video's vibe, whether it's emotional, intense, or uplifting. Adjust the volume so it doesn't overpower the narration, and make sure it fades in and out smoothly. That small touch will really bring out the cinematic feeling in your short film. And finally, it's time to export your video. 
hit the export button, choose your desired resolution, and CapCut will render your project into a complete video file you can share anywhere, YouTube, Instagram, or even your personal portfolio. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more helpful videos.